I have this access hole here in the floor of my boat, but it's too small. So I'm going to be installing a nice big ladder hatch or a uh, door latch hatch, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to be putting this in here. Let's get started. There's a lot of reasons you might be wanting to put a hatch instead of your normal screw hole. I really don't like this because it's too small for me. There's a couple things in there that I just can't get my hand in there and reach. Also, every time you take it on and off, you gotta put new silicone on it so it's waterproof. I'm just not a fan of these things. I wanna get rid of it. And I'm gonna put a nice hatch here, which is going to give me access to a couple of things. I have some fuel lines and the intake valves on the fuel lines to my gas tank, which is right here, are located right here and right here. And I just, I cannot reach them. I don't know who designed this boat, but impossible to reach. I've had two mechanics come out and they both told me they just can't reach it. We're gonna have to cut the floors open. So that's why I am installing this hatch, which is going to go right about here. And then I'll have access to everything. I'll be able to open it up, boom. And look how much space I'm gonna have. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to outline the hatch. And I highly suggest that you buy your hatch first before cutting a hole in your boat. So you know exactly how to cut it and you don't accidentally cut a hole that's too big or something before you get your hatch. So we're gonna line it up. Now you can either eyeball this or you can be a little more professional. And you can do some measurements to make sure it's perfectly lined up on both sides and however you do it. And then when you're ready, give it a nice outline. All right, and we have ourselves a nice little outline. Come check it out. You can see our old hole. You can see the new outline. The fuel intake valves are located right here there's one right here and there's one right here so I should be able to get nice access to them with this new hole quite happy all right time to cut so this is my strategy I have this saw here but the problem is it goes pretty deep uh, you see how deep that goes two and a half inches maybe and there are lines maybe an inch under this floor here, my fuel lines and stuff. So I don't wanna use this to cut out the whole outline because I'll end up cutting into my lines, but there's no lines over here. So I'm gonna make this hole a little bit bigger and then I can adjust how deep this blade goes and I have it adjusted so it doesn't poke out the bottom or it just barely does like a few millimeters. So then I'll be able to cut the rest of this hole and uh, shouldn't strike any of my lines down there. So. Let's get started and I'll try to cut this, kind of cut this little corner away right here. Let's see how easily it cuts. Is this going to be an easy project or a tough one? It's cutting very easy, much easier than I thought. Ah. <laughs> I just grabbed the blade, that was hot. Okay, I'm just making sure there's no lines under here. Looks good. Looks like we're not gonna hit anything. We'll keep cutting. You know, I can cut, I can cut all the way to here without running into any issues. So I can just keep going. Now I'm going to make a cut here to break that off. And now you can see, there you have it. These are the fuel, the intakes that I was trying to get access. There's one more right here. So we can see, just got to finish cutting, but it's going pretty smooth. So far, so good. If something were to go wrong, this is probably about where it's going to happen. I really hope I don't cut into anything. Uh, actually, you know what? It doesn't look like my blade is deep enough. Whew, I mean, that sticks out like a half a centimeter. Oh, I want it a little less than that, actually. I'm gonna make it a little, a little less. Okay, what are we at now? 
All right, that should be good. Whew. All right, please don't cut any lines. Yeah, baby, no lines cut. I think I can finish the rest of this off pretty easily now. I'll go ahead and do that. Awesome. I took my sander and uh, kind of smoothed these. I smoothed all the edges out and it should fit now. All right. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, this thing did not come with screws. So I gotta go get some nice stainless steel screws and then pre-drill all the holes. And then what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of 5200 sealant around this edge. And I'm gonna push that in, drill it in, and we're good to go. It's the next day and I put a new fuel pickup line in here. I took all the fuel lines apart, made sure they're all cleaned, did what I had to do. The whole reason I opened the hatch was so I could access these ports, which I couldn't access before going into my fuel tank. So now that I've done that, it is time to put the hatch in. And the way we're going to do this, it's a nice tight fit. It should be in there pretty good. Two more holes left to go, just pre-drilling, pre-drilling the screw holes. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 5200 sealant all around here, also on the wood on the inside, make it a nice watertight and seal this wood in so it doesn't get any, any water on it. All right, got it nice and cleaned up. Hopefully this 5200 is still good. I found it, but it's still squishy, so I think it should be good. I found it in the back of one of my boxes, probably like six months old, I have no idea. If it's not good anymore, I got a brand new one, but I'm trying to avoid using this because these little tubes are like 20 something bucks. So, I'm gonna squeeze this on there. Ooh, that top won't come off. Fingers crossed. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. So there is still some in there. It's our lucky day. Just saved ourselves like 20 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and just glop it on there. Okay, this is probably way too much, but I don't care. And just like that, I'm covered in 5200. No boat project is complete without being covered in this stuff. Let's drop it in, drop the hatch in, and see how she squishes on in there. Hey, it actually went in uh, pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the screws in. I like to hand tighten them just to make sure they're not over tightened and I don't strip these holes or anything. And put them in there just how I want them to be. It's looking really good. Last screw. All right, I suck. I forgot to drill a hole right there. I forgot one hole. I'll do that right now. Drill that hole. Alright, now I'm going to tighten them all down. Alright, they are all nice and tight. Honestly, I think I could have used even more 5200. It didn't even come out the sides. I thought it was gonna ooze out. And there we have it, folks. A brand new hatch. Woo, all right. Yeah, and that's how you install a, a hatch. I'm no expert, but 
I figured it out. I'm sure you can too. Thanks for watching.